Hi guys, it's me, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm taking a little bit of a break from Scentmas. Well, not really a break. <laughs> I just wanted to do uh, another video on top of Scentmas. And this is going to be a video about my top five favorite amber fragrances. Okay, so before I begin, I think I just want to talk a little bit about amber in general and what it is exactly because I think there is some confusion um, a little bit maybe that some people might have with exactly what it is. Um, so amber is basically just a mix of ingredients or a mix of different notes. Some people get confused um, with the gemstone <laughs> amber uh, that has nothing to do with amber in perfumery as far as I know. Um, also some people get confused with ambergris being you know amber and being that being the same and ambergris is something completely different from the note of amber listed in notes. Um, ambergris as you probably already know is you know the uh, excrement of whales <laughs> and um, I love the note. Um, I love it mostly in Creed fragrances and especially in Hermes fragrances but that has something to do completely, that is something completely different. What is this on my lip? Okay, some tissue. <laughs> okay, so what is amber? It is just, like I said, it's a mix of ingredients. It usually contains um, benzoin, which makes it like sticky, rich, and thick. Uh, mostly there's also vanilla in amber fragrances, but that is sometimes substituted with tonka bean. And also there's labdanum in there, which gives it this like a, a dusty, musky kind of smell. So if you put all of those together, uh, they combine into something that is very rich, and warm and sweet and resinous. Uh, you combine those with other elements like woody frag woody notes and citruses and all these other things, florals as well. And that's basically what amber is. So uh, as far as I know anyways. So yeah, now that that's cleared up, let's go into my top five favorite amber fragrances. And in fifth place, I just have a sample of this. This is from the house of Serge Luton. Serge Lutens. I don't know how to say it. It's a very, very popular fragrance. Um, and if you're into perfumes, you've probably, or oh, niche perfumes, you've probably already tried this. This is called Ombre Sultan. I'll get this on a paper. Okay. So just on the paper, I'm not sure, sure if it's showing up on camera, but it's a very, very dark color, which uh, kind of symbolizes how this fragrance smells to my nose. Oh, wow. Every time I smell this, I'm like, OMG, this is so, so nice. So this amber falls more on the woody side of amber. It's very resinous there's some patchouli in here that makes it earthy and there's some spices in here but the most interesting note i think in this amber fragrance is bay leaf and i actually smell it very very what's the word i smell it a lot in here like i do notice it i do recognize it a lot in this fragrance when i was living at home with my parents way back when. Uh, my mom cooked this Filipino dish called adobo, Filipino adobo. It's like the national dish of the Philippines. And one of the ingredients in that dish is bay leaf. And so like my mom would cook this dish like very, very, very regularly. It was one of my faves. It's still one of my faves and I still cook it a lot today. Like now, even though I don't live with my parents anymore. And um, so yeah, my mom had a big bag of bay leaf always in the cabinet or wherever. And I would literally, <laughs> I would literally open that bag. Like whenever I opened that cupboard, I would open that bag and take a big whiff of the bay leaf. Cause I just really love the way bay leaf smells, but even more so I love the way it tastes. So to me, Ombre Sultan actually comes across to my nose as a, amber fragrance that is delicious. It's a it's a woody smell that I would actually like to eat, which sounds kind of weird, 
But yeah, it, to me, it smells like something is cooking in the oven with a beautiful bay leaf. Something sweet, something yummy. <laughs> something, there's a bit of spice in there as well. And yeah, it just basically smells like something I really want to eat. But I don't want to eat it because it's not... How do I explain that? Um, a woody amber that smells delicious but that I wouldn't want to eat is what I mean to say. So that was in fifth spot. In the fourth spot, we have a fragrance from the private collection of Estee Lauder. I have just a little bit left in this little decant. And this is called Amber Ylang Ylang. And um, I think this is discontinued. And if I'm not mistaken, super duper hard to find. I have not seen this fragrance. Um, if I do, I'm going to get it because I really, really like this fragrance. And look at the color of that juice. It's just so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Amber Ylang Ylang from the private collection of Estee Lauder. Oh, it is just perfect you know seriously perfect I want this bottle so bad <laughs> um, I've been like hanging on to the last mill or two um, just to remind myself of how beautiful this amber fragrance is so to me basically this fragrance smells like if if a hug had a smell or if I were to uh, yeah if a hug had a smell this is what I would want it to smell like or imagine it to smell like. So it's very warm and cozy and when I smell this, I'm picturing myself sitting in front of a fireplace under a blanket, sipping some hot cocoa or something, reading a book and also some candlelight. It just gives me that whole setting of just being cozy in like a log cabin <laughs> and it's just amazing. It's a very smooth vanilla fragrance that has some spices in there to make it more, I don't know, it gives a nice character to it. There's definitely some woods, but the special thing about this is are the florals in here and specifically Ylang Ylang. And um, although I don't smell like Ylang Ylang obviously in this fragrance, I do get I do get florals in here, a combination of florals. If I'm not mistaken, there's like geranium and rose and ylang ylang in here. But all together, it just smells like what I would want a hug to smell like. And it's just, oh, I want it so bad. <laughs> I wish it was still available. At least I haven't seen it available anywhere in Holland. It could be somewhere else, I don't know. but. If you get a chance to smell this and you love amber fragrances, I would definitely recommend you to try that out. Okay, so now in third place, I have a fragrance here from the house of MFK from Maison Francis Kirkshawn. And um, this is called Grand Soir. I have a travel size thing here. I'll just spray that. Oh, that was a huge spray. And this one... This one, to me, and my nose, it smells like the boozy side of amber. So I'm not sure what the, the notes in here are, but if I were to guess, other than amber being in here, so yeah, there's like vanilla, some woods in here, some spice in here. But I'm smelling like this beautiful alcohol boozy thing. <laughs> Not alcoholic, not overly boozy, but there is like a smooth, rich whiskey smell in here. And I'm not sure if I heard anyone say that this fragrance, Grand Soir, smells boozy. But to my nose, it definitely, I do get a beautiful, boozy, rich, sweet, sexy, sensual, oh my gosh, it's such a, it's so good, I love it so much. Yes, just booze and more booze and sweetness, resinous, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, Grand Soir is in number third spot, number three spot. 
in number two, well, the last two, I think that you guys probably won't be surprised because I have talked about these uh, quite a bit on my channel so far. And uh, this is from the House of Hermes. This is from their Hermesence line. And this is Ombre Narguilé. I have the travel size here. Oh my gosh. Definitely gourmand. Definitely gourmand. Like actually amber as a note in general to my nose comes off, comes across mostly as gourmandy. And anyways, okay, Ambre Narguilé, I don't need to say much about it, except that it smells like apple pie in the oven with a lot of nice cinnamon spice, nutmeg spice, sweetness, a warm, cozy feeling of an apple pie baking in the oven. That's all I'm thinking about, and it's making me hungry. And also, like a... Like a like a tobacco-ish kind of smell along with it that does not ruin the smell at all it actually like amps it up even more so think of like apple pie baking in the oven and then you have some older not older but a gentleman smoking uh, a cigar of some type that's really sweet and spicy if you guys can imagine that but mostly it's about that beautiful warm apple pie and it doesn't smell juvenile it doesn't smell like a kid like a cheap uh candle or something it's just like oh it's so so wonderful okay so the last one in number one spot the last one i want to talk about is my favorite amber of all time this actually also has sentimental um what's the word sentimental meaning to it to me uh and this is from the house of armani this is from their privé line this is called ombre eccentrico this is the best amber fragrance in my opinion ever that i've ever smelled um when i smell this i don't like think amber though i think like gourmand maple syrup <laughs> Yes, edible, delicious, warm, rich, vanilla, dried fruits, kind of like dried dates, maple syrup. There's also this like bready quality in it. So that's making me think of like pancakes and it's just the best, the best amber fragrance ever. And if you are a gourmand head or I don't know what the term is, if you love gourmand fragrances, I definitely would recommend for you to at least try this out. It is just so delicious. I just love wearing this mostly like on my winter coat and on my scarf because it just sticks on it and doesn't go away. And I just love like constantly smelling this warm, uh, what is this, like maple syrup thing? <laughs> and you know, I associate maple syrup with my home country of Canada, so it also makes me feel like I'm at home and just like pouring this warm, <laughs> I'm at the restaurant, say Perkins for example, and I'm like <laughs> pouring this warm um, maple syrup on top of this big stack of pancakes and, and there's butter on top and it's just absolutely delicious. This fragrance I don't hear a lot of people talk about at all in the community, which is kind of weird to me. <sighs> but yes, please do try it out. It is amazing. It is awesome. And uh, yeah, oh, I just love it so much. <laughs> okay, so guys, those were my top five favorite amber fragrances of all time. But please let me know in the comments which your favorite ambers are uh, down there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, that's all for me today. I'll see you guys next tomorrow, I guess, or next time in the next video. See you guys. Bye-bye.